Hello there, this is PNG. Welcome to my One Piece Bounty Rush videos. Today I'll be playing the brand new released Formal Navy Admiral Kuzan or Kaokiji. It was a surprising for me this morning because I thought he would be similar to the league where he's going to be a red unit and a defender. Plus a color unit that was everyone's high hope but it turned out to be he became a step up instead. And the major surprise, of course, he became a green unit as well as an attacker. Completely opposite what we all thought. But I think it's a good move because it can help out the league to balance it a bit more instead of getting dominated by the reds as the blues. When I was using him, um, I did struggle a bit because I didn't really understand him. But um, he does do a lot of devastating damages against some certain characters you do not expect but the problem that i have is against is blackbeard uh, red luchi and sabo especially sabo because sabo can really burn you down very easily but try to avoid him as much as possible and blackbeard is fine um red luchi just be a bit careful that's all don't let him combo you well the medals i've equipped him is elephant gatling and jet rocket those two medal, the Luffy set, will give him damage increase as well as uh, skill 1 cooldown when you have less treasure, um, skill 2 cooldown for their double traits, and some, of course, dodges and capture speed. But I'll prioritize attack because at his level, he needs to do big damages to get rid of the opponent so he can survive. His skills are really good. Um, Ice Age, skill 1. It's basically, if you hold your skill button down, you will continue to able to move around flexibly and freeze your opponent's butt. And if you manage to freeze them, they stay frozen for 5 seconds and it can be continue. And if you release the button early, you do a close range um, blast that uh, do some damage. But if you manage to hold it all the way to the end, it can do a very um, devastating damage to your opponent. 33 seconds, not bad. Um, skill 2, Pheasant Peck. It's a long range launch a bird to uh, your opponent. I have some problem aiming at it, but it should be fine. But you can definitely freeze your opponent for 5 seconds. And there's a short cooldown as well. His traits are fantastic. It's nearly equivalent to a Bounty Fest character. Um, you have 10% chance to reduce 30% uh, of damages you receive. If you've been attacked, you can freeze their butt uh, with 5% chance. You, Of course, naturally, you're uh, immune to freezing. And if you use skill 1, you can resist getting staggered, like getting comboed. Uh, so only they can knock you down if they use a knockback or maybe knock you off your feet with a third attack. Um, he gets the attacker trait, of course. In opponent's treasure area, you get 30% extra damage towards them. Oh, and he can't get one-shotted. That's very helpful. Because his trait 2, if you manage to freeze someone, you can deal extra damages. Plus, you can heal. So that will help out. And if, of course, you get knocked off your feet, you will uh, get some skill 1 cooldown. Well, the video has two uh, matches. And it's kind of testing, but it should be good. And hopefully you enjoy it. Please like, comment, subscribe. And hopefully you enjoy it. Well, this is not going to be a live commentary. Um, this is a pre-recorded clip. Because I couldn't focus really uh, carefully with the new Kuzan uh, at his level right now. So I was kept silent and played it as normal. Now I'll just basically put my opinion and my uh, commentary over this and use this clip to basically talk about uh, the new Kuzan. At this clip, uh, this match itself, I did do one or two uh, good moves as well as surprise kills. Um, hopefully you guys like it. Well, first of all, the match starts off, I captured the flag because we have no defender and somehow the snake man just went suicide mode and just run to the opponent's base flag already. Well, maybe he's full of confidence. We'll see. Um, I ran to this uh, flag already and this part I did do really well um, because Big Mom will come and try and attack this treasure and I managed to defend it well. Yep, I shot my pheasant pack and froze her for 5 seconds and wait because I just want to uh, charge up this treasure area a bit more. She's trying to bait me out and I followed and attack her but then she ran back and I assumed that she didn't have the electric state so I just freeze her instead and throws her and keep doing that and then just uh, charge it all the way to the end and then the Ice Age really one-shot her and then this one 
I managed to freeze him while he's trying to dodge. Yep, that beard, you failed to dodge. So I didn't make him just keep comboing him. But Blackbeard, um, I would say you have to try to avoid him as possible, not like me trying to be uh, a confident guy trying to take him out. Because at level 85, um, boost 1, you're not going to do much damage and you will fall victim to Blackbeard. Plus you need a good teammate to help you out. Um, I did die about twice I think, yep, twice on this match and um, my role afterwards is more like just trying to uh, help out the team to keep them busy because my team are uh, way stronger than my Kuzan. Oh, in this clip I think I had uh, a bit of a... Yep, I had uh, a lot of uh, Katakuris to try and attack me and I used my move while he's in his treasure area, didn't help. Then I got multi punched. And so many categories I can do much, so all I have to do now is just retreat because I'm not gonna dent him at all. So strategic retreat. I'll see if I can freeze him in here, but he's in perfect dodge and I'll perfect dodge his punches. So I came and tried to help out uh, Snake Man, but it wasn't much of a help. I just got steamrolled, multi rolled, and got killed. Now nah, category of uh, green versus green with category uh, with such high damage reduction, Kuzan at his level not gonna do much. So this final couple of 20 seconds, I just there to help out and try to buy some time because we managed to capture a treasure in the last minute. Uh, so that it helped out. Um, yeah, as you see, there's too many Kata and I have to try to uh, run away from him and by the last couple of seconds. Yep, and we did it. So this match was just more or less the test, the best I could do on the early stage. Hopefully he didn't hate it. But the next clip, you won't be disappointed. Right, this is the final clip and we're playing the Alabaster stage. This stage I did much better uh, because I was starting to get used to uh, Kuzan a bit more. And we had a good teammates as well. And we did have another Kuzan here, so it was fun to see that I'm not alone. And this stage is far more better for me because it's much more clearer and it's easier to navigate and straightforward. Well, Kuzan, I have to say he had no problem against Big Mom as long as she basically doesn't have that electric state, then you will be able to take her down quite easily. Um, so on this clip, we will start off by, I think I captured the first flag because we have no defenders again. I normally will have a defender or play the defender if I'm not making a focus Kuzan clip. That's my play style. I'll just do whatever it takes to keep the team and give them the advantage. Okay, so I've captured the first flag and I just monitor, see what it goes. Oh, look, uh, yeah, my other Kuzan, my teammate just got blasted away. Now I'll just be patient and watch what happens so we don't just go there um, like rationally. Yep, I've frozen that big mum. Oh, but are we immune to freeze? And I use my one. And we've managed to freeze a couple of people. And then, of course, I launched that and I took down the big mum. Now I'll just go there and defend against the um, ace. Oh, well, thank you. Luchi helped out there. And I'm just gonna think I'll throw it. Yeah, ooh, I thought I did it, but no, and Luchi did it. So, yeah, and I managed to freeze. Uh, oh, killed Luffy Taro. And that Pheasant Pet can be uh, quite strong and hitting someone. Um, but it's quite hard to aim. Just me practicing. And yeah, if Big Mom didn't do that, I would have probably uh, killed one of them. And Katakuri again with his multi punches. It, that's really difficult to dodge. But the lucky Luchi was there to keep him from capturing. And there was a meat, so I could retain some health. That was nice. But I spotted um, Reiju to back capping, so I went back and see what she does. Yep. And then I just basically launched the skill two and took her out. But I know my teammates there, so I just ran back to help out the mid flag and do what I can. Well, categories are going to give me a headache, but I used this uh, the Ice Age, but he was smart enough to run away. 
And yep, didn't do much. But at least I scared him off. And I tried to freeze um, Ace and I failed. And well, we don't know what happened to that big mom. She's suddenly just frozen. A perfect dodge, uh, Luffy Taro's elephant gun. But it was hard to, to aim because since there's two people, but I stopped him from capping. But I think I got, yep, steamrolled again. And we got uh, capped, but I used my Ice Age to freeze all their butt. Then continue that, and then I think I took out Luffy Taro, yep, I did. And helped out the team to recapture the middle. I say I did much better in this match, and then I took out this big mum as well. <laughs> and we got team boost, but uh, Marco took the advantage and took me out. I was hopefully that the team could actually um, defend into the end, but we were up by four-one, so it was easy win for us. And this clip, we did I did much better. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and there will be future videos more for Kuzan once I get him a higher level, and hopefully enjoy.